Mabuhay Grade 5 students! My name is Teacher Mark Espruna or you can call me Teacher Mark and I will be your teacher for today for Arts Education. And before we start our class for today, may I request everybody to please turn off your microphones and please turn off also your cameras for we will seek for our Lord's permission or guidance for today's class. We will not start our prayer until everybody is uh, turning off their cameras and microphones. Thank you for your cooperation and now we will start our prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
God bless us all, grade 5 students. And again, mabuhay, grade 5 students. How are you feeling today? You feel nice? Very good. Before we start our class for today, may I, may I please request everybody to please turn on your cameras and please turn on your microphone as I call your name for our roll call or for the attendance. May I start? Okay, for our first student for the girls, may I call on Miss Jane Balastige? Miss Jane Balastige, are you here? Thank you for your very energetic answer, Miss Jane Balastige. How about Miss Jasmine Tolentino? You look very nice, Miss Jasmine. Miss Rain Corpus? Thank you so much, Miss Rain Corpus. How about Miss Queen Lazarte? Are you in there? Miss Queen Lazarte, are you in there? Yes, thank you so much, Miss Queen Lazarte. I hope your internet connection will become much better until, uh, until the last until the end of our uh, discussion for today. Okay, Miss Queen. How about you, Miss Patricia Oconer? Are you in? Thank you so much, Miss Patricia Oconer. You look nice and neat, Miss Patricia Oconer. How about you, Miss Jatungol? Miss Jatungol? Thank you so much, Miss Ja. Miss Anna Marie Innocencio? Thank you so much, Miss Anna Marie. You look nice. How about Joanna May Isidro? Are you in? Thank you so much, Miss Joanna May. How about you, Miss Mitzi Maliksi? Thank you so much, Miss Mitzi Maliksi. And for the last girls, we have Miss Aina Tagorio. How about you, Miss Aina? Are you in? Okay, thank you so much, Miss Aina Tagorio. Let's go for the boys, for the attendance of the boys. Let's call on the first one, Miss jo Mr. Jomar Carabeo. Thank you so much, Mr. Jomar Carabeo. Lester James Mojica, are you, are you in? Thank you so much, Lester. Mark Adrian Lopez. Very good, Mr. Adrian Lopez. How about Giulin Mojeda? Thank you so much, Giulin Mojeda. You, you look so nice for your uh, clean haircut right, uh, right now, huh? How about you, Mr. Mavi Enriquez? Mavi Enriquez, are you in? Mavi Enriquez is in. Okay, thank you so much, Mavi Enriquez. How about you, Mr. Jefferson Manzano? Jefferson Manzano. Thank you so much, Jefferson. You're so energetic again, ha? Huh? Mr. Michael Aris Rakipiso. Mr. Rakipiso, are you in there? Thank you so much, Mr. Rakipiso. You look nice. You look nice uh, to your um, haircut right now. How about Giancarlo Pruna? Thank you so much, Mr. Giancarlo. Masamitsu Nanri, are you in? Masamitsu Nanri. Thank you so much, Masamitsu Nanri, for that energetic response. How about you, Mr. Kenneth Zuniga? You are the last one, Kenneth Zuniga. Thank you so much, Kenneth. So all of you are inside our class. You are all present. Because of that, you all deserve a round of applause. So before we start our lesson for today, uh, let us have a short quiz or a short review about our last topic, okay? Are you ready? I prepared three questions and you have to answer it on a clean sheet of paper and you have to open up your cameras. Yes, you have to open up your cameras and your cameras should be uh, focused on your work. Are you ready? I will be monitoring you uh, while you are doing this activity, okay? It will only take uh, three minutes. Is that okay? Three minutes, is it? Is it okay for you guys? Three minutes? Okay, thank you so much. So for the review, uh, these are the questions and you will, you may now start.
Okay class, thank you so much for that cooperation. Please take a photo of your answers and then send it to my Google Classroom. I, I will have, I will provide a portal there, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Great five students. So before we start our, our lesson, let me hear some of your answers, okay? So for question number one, it is, what is our last topic? What is our last topic? Yes, Miss Jane Balastige. Yes, our last topic is all about virtual art. Very good. How about the next question? Very. Uh, in what particular visual art we focus our topic? In what particular uh, visual art we focus our topic? May can I hear someone? Another hands, can you please raise your hands? Click the raise hand button if you want to answer, okay? Okay, Miss Jasmine Tolentino, what is your answer? Very good, we just focused on photography and sculpture. Very good. For your last question, what is visual art? What is visual art? Anyone? Yes, Queen Lazarte. Very good, Queen Lazarte. Your answer is definitely correct. Very good, everyone. You all deserve a virtual round of applause. At least I know that you all understand our past lesson and I know that you all review your past lesson, your past lesson in your home. Very good everyone. So before we start our discussion for today, um, let me show you a picture, okay? I will show you a picture and then you will observe the picture and I and afterwards I will uh, I'll have uh, some questions for you to answer, okay? I will show you the picture in just two minutes and you have to observe the picture really well, okay? Are you, do you understand, guys? Do you understand? Okay, great. So here is the picture. Okay, your two minutes is done. So, can you please tell me, what is the picture all about? Yes, Masamitsu? Very good. Indeed, it is a flower. So, I have here a picture of flower. 
And what can you say about the flower? Very good. It is much colorful. Yes, Mr. Uh, Michael Aris, Rocky Piso, can you please tell me your insights about this or your observations about this uh, flower? Yes, correct. It is made up of sheets, tiny sheet of paper. Very good. Is there any uh, observation? Yes, Jefferson Manzano. Okay, very good. That is also correct. So all of your observations are correct. But first, before we, uh, before I reveal what is our um, what is our topic for today? Can you please tell me? Can you please rearrange actually this um, this word for me? Anyone? Anyone who can tell me that uh, what what word can you make in this um, in this uh, jumbled letters? Anyone? Raise your hands if you want to answer. Yes, Miss Jatumol. Okay. Can I see someone, somebody or someone else? Thank you so much, Jatumol. Another answer, please. Okay, yes, Mr. Jomar Garabeo. Indeed, Mr. Garabeo, your answer is correct. The jumbled letters is mosaic because our next topic for today is all about mosaic. Very good, everyone. So please prepare yourself so we can start our class for today. Let me share my screen first, okay? So our topic for today is all about Mosaic, yes, very good. So can you please read what is the first slide, Mr. Lester James Moika? Okay, okay, thank you for reading. As it is defined, mosaic is the collection of many tiny tiles, yes. That is glued together in a piece of any canvas to form an image. Okay, very good. So mosaic is all about um gluing or uh, making uh, uh making something out of uh tiny pieces of papers, tiny pieces of eggshells, or tiny pieces of of things inside your house. Okay, so mosaic have a long history. So, mosaic started in Mesopotamia, in Mesopotamia, I'm sorry, in the third, uh, in the third millennium BC. So, pebble mosaic were made in the Tyrans, or the Tyrans, of um, Mycenaeans, Mycenaeans in Greece. Mosaic with patterns and pictures became, became widespread in classic times both in ancient Greece and ancient Rome. So, history, uh, based on the history, uh, mosaic is uh, very uh, popular in the 3rd millennium BC. It is, um, it is made, uh, their, their mosaic is usually made by pebbles, yes. So, in the earliest known, the earliest known example of mosaic made of different materials were found at a temple building in Ubaid, Mesopotamia and are dated to the second half of the 3rd third, third millennium BCE. They consist of pieces of colored stones, shells, and ivory. So the first known or the first, uh, the first known um, uh, mosaic in the, in the world is in the Mesopotamia, yes, in Ubaid, Mesopotamia. And, it, and uh, the piece consists of uh, tiny bits of colored stones, shells and ivory so uh we can say that uh our also our ancients or ancestors our 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 ancestors uh gave us a something that we must know or we 
must see and that is a mosaic so so the as of the day's education mosaic is usually made of shredded papers yes the shredded papers egg shells and many more and because of the material availability we are going to use eggshells and um, shredded papers for our application later on. So please, uh, uh, please be ready uh, because we will have some applications or some, uh, some artworks uh, we are going to do uh, later on in this, uh, later on for this topic, okay? So in doing mosaics, you have to just be creative. So mosaic doesn't have to be that much beautiful you just have to be more creative okay you don't have to use any patterns you just be you, you just have to be created a uh, creative okay your piece may not be on the same shapes because it can give your art more justice texture and beauty so yes we ha we are going to use um uh um many types or many kinds of, or shapes of uh shredded pieces of um eggs or or uh, paper, okay, colored paper, okay, because it can give your uh, it can give your artwork uh, justice, okay, or texture, okay, because we all know that texture is really important to our to our art, okay. So I will present to you another examples of uh, mosaic. Can you please tell me what can you see about the mosaic? What can you say about the mosaic? So for the first picture, it is a butterfly mosaic. Can you please tell me, uh, what do you think is the materials used in this mosaic? Yes, Mr. Kenneth Zuniga. Paper. Yes, Miss, Miss Aina Tagorio. Glue. Yes, Miss Jatungo again. Colored papers is accepted. Thank you so much. How about the next one? This is a mural or the or a portrait mosaic. Yes, portrait mosaic. What do you think are the materials? Yes, Mr. Mark Adrian Lopez. Paper again. Yes, Miss Jeff, Mr. Jefferson Manzano. Colored papers. Yes, Aina Tagorio. Cardboard may do. Next, Miss Joanna May Isidro. Yes, the very important glue. Very good. So for the last picture, this is the last picture. What can you say about this uh, about this uh, mosaic? What can you say about the mosaic? Yes, it looks like it is realistic. Very good. How about you, Miss Patricia O'Connor? Yes, Miss Patricia O'Connor. What can you say about this uh, mosaic in front of you? Okay, very good, Miss Patricia O'Connor. It is, it consists of many sizes of tech of papers. Very good. So for now, I have prepared a, a video presentation for that you understand how, what is a mosaic art, okay? Hello there! Today we're going to be talking about mosaics. Can you say it with me? Mosaics! A mosaic is made up of different pieces of glass, tile, stone, or even paper. And guess what? A mosaic is actually a type of art. Wowzers! Mosaic art was invented more than 5,000 years ago. Check out these mosaics. They're from early Roman times. Pretty neato, huh? During this time, people wore clothes that looked like pieces of cloth draped over their bodies. They also didn't have cars back then, so they used horses and wagons, and sometimes even chariots to get around town. So as I was saying, 
Mosaics are made of colored glass, tile, stone, and even paper to form patterns or pictures. They are made by placing the pieces of glass down and then filling the spaces in between the glass pieces with grout. Hey, have you ever heard of grout? Well, I bet you have, and if you don't know, you probably have it in your home. That's right, grout is what's in between your tiles, and it's usually found in your kitchen or bathroom, on the floors, and sometimes even on the walls. Now, making a mosaic is like putting a puzzle together. Anyone ever put a puzzle together? Right, of course, everyone has. So when you're making a mosaic, you pick out each piece separately and find the place where it belongs and it fits. Just like a puzzle. And depending on the way you lay down each piece and the shape of everything, you can come up with a really neat picture or even a colorful, fun design. People have been using mosaics since ancient times like we mentioned earlier to decorate their walls, pave their walkways, and even pave ceilings of buildings. Mosaics are still being used today. And guess what? You're about to make a mosaic right now. Who's excited? And now this video is for making a paper mosaic. For today's craft, we're going to be making paper mosaics. For this craft, what you're going to need is you are going to need a pair of scissors, some glue, whether that's a glue stick or um, a bottle of glue, and then you're going to need some markers. Here's a few different colors. Um, if you have construction paper, then great. Um, and if not, then you'll just need another white piece of paper. So you'll need two white pieces of paper total. So what you're going to do is you're going to put everything aside to start. And if you have construction paper, you can go ahead and take that out. If you don't have construction paper, you're going to use the white piece of paper. And you're going to take your few different colors of markers and you are going to color your page. So, the easiest way to do it is to do it kind of in strips. So, I'm going to do it like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to fit, fill in all of the white spaces just as best as you can. Another thing to know is if you are doing it this way, uh, you might want to have a surface that you either don't mind getting dirty or is easily washable. You can also put another piece of paper down behind this one so that way you're drawing on the paper instead of on the table. It's all right if the colors overlap a little bit. For the next thing what you're going to do is you are going to cut this piece of paper. You're going to do the same thing if you have construction paper except you don't need to use a full sheet. That, that's a lot of paper. So you can use a half a sheet or even a third of a sheet. So with this one I'm going to cut it down the colors to start. And again it doesn't have to be perfect. Cutting it this way is going to help you later on. With the colors. Okay. So now I've got all my different colors laid out. Now we're going to cut them even into smaller strips. So I'm going to start with the yellow and I'm going to put the rest of mine aside. They don't have to be equal widths. They can be just the best you've got. Okay, so now what you're going to do with all of these strips, the best way to do it to save some time for yourself is you are going to take them and you're going to line them up like this. 
So that way you can cut all of them at once. Because the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make them into small squares. The reason why we're making it into small squares is because mosaics are actually um, made from smaller pieces of paper. So what we do is we cut all these different colors up and then we put them all together, back together on a different piece of paper to make whatever design that you like. So as you're cutting, you can start thinking of a design that you want uh, to put on your other piece of paper. Okay, so now I finished with the yellow and I'm gonna put the yellow in one big pile to the side. And you're gonna do that with all of the other colors. Make sure you keep your piles of different colors separate from each other so that way you know which color is which. Alright, so just to show you what I mean, I'm going to take this red piece of paper, uh, the construction side, and I'm going to just cut a tiny strip off of it because I don't need that much. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did to my colored piece of paper. So I'm going to cut them into small strips. And again, they do not need to be perfect. And then I'm gonna cut them into smaller squares. All right, now I'm gonna put all of these to the side. So see how these are kind of lining the outside? So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other white blank piece of paper. For my design, I'm going to just do the letter J since that's the first letter of my name. And I'm gonna kind of make it into a box so that way I have something to fill in. So it's not perfect and that's okay because I am not gonna follow all of the lines. I'm, this is kind of just my outline. So the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue, whether that's your glue stick or your glue bottle, it's a little bit easier with a glue stick, and you're going to just put some glue on the paper. Now, it shows up purple, but this is the disappearing purple. And then, you're gonna just add the squares however you like.
Okay guys, so this is what the final project looks like for me. As you can tell, I have a ton of pieces left. Um, so you guys can design even more on your page if you want to make a flower on the side, if you want to make a spaceship, an airplane, whatever you like. Um, I just stuck with my J uh, because I felt like that was the easiest tutorial to show you guys how to do this. Um, like I said, the, the possibilities are endless, so have fun with it and, you know, just keep going with it. This could be an all-day project. All right, I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for my next videos. Thanks so much. Bye. The next video is making an egg mosaic.
Okay, do you enjoy the videos? Do you enjoy the videos, class? Thank you so much if you enjoy and you understand this topic. Is there any questions? Is there any questions minding you? Okay, if not, this is the end of our lecture for today. But before we end our lecture, let us all have a generalization. Okay. Now, let's see if you really understand our lesson for today. Okay? Are you ready? I will just ask a question to you and you will just answer one, uh, one word. Okay? So, can you please tell me? What word can this can be this uh, can you uh, imagine when you hear the word mosaic art? Yes, Miss Jane Balastige. Thank you so much, Mr. Miss Jasmine Valentino. Thank you so much, Rain Rain Corpus. Okay, thank you, Queen Lazarte. Patricia O'Connor. Jatungol. Very good, Jatung all. You, oh, uh, you, in, your answer is indeed correct. It is colorful. Okay. Anna Marie Innocentio. Very good. Mitzi Maliksi. Nice word. Um, Ay Natagorio. Very good. And for the boys, Jomar Garabeo. Lester James Mojica, how about you? What is your one word for mosaic art? Okay, very good. How about you, Mr. Mark Adrian Lopez? Thank you so much. Julian Mojedo, how about you? Thank you so much. Mavi Enriquez, you're next. Okay, thank you so much, Jefferson Manzano. Yes, it is indeed challenging. Thank you so much, Jeff Manzano. How about you, Mr. Michael Aris Rakitiso? Thank you so much, Mr. Michael Aris. Giancarlo Pruna, what is your insight or what is your one word for mosaic art? Yes. Yes, it's true. It is challenging but fun. Okay. So, Masamit Sunanri, how about you? Very good. How about the last one? Kenneth Zuniga? Okay, thank you so much, kids, for your uh, cooperation for that one-word examination, okay? So for our next question, can, I, can you please tell me in what particular type of mosaic do we focus? Yes, Mr. Masamitsu Nanri. Yes? Yes, we can hear you, Masamitsu Nanri. Yes, we focus on... Paper and egg mosaic. Thank you so much. Can you please tell me or can you please explain to me why we focus in that mosaic? In that two types of mosaic? Yes, Miss Jane Balasige. Okay, very good. Because the because of the availability of the of the materials that is needed. Okay, thank you so much. I believe that. All of you understands our lesson for today. Now for your application, create an egg mosaic using the materials I ask you to bring or to prepare beside you, okay? You can choose between um, egg mosaic or paper mosaic, okay? Your artwork will be graded as you pass, in, as you pass it in our Google Classroom, okay? The, uh, the artwork will be passed after the class, okay? Okay, I will give you uh, five minutes. Okay, I will give you. Oh no no no! I will give you ten to ten to fifteen minutes to finish your work. Okay. Okay, you may now open up your cameras and focus your cameras on what you are doing right now, so I can see which one of you is doing, uh, which one of you is doing an art, or which one of you is not doing an art. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, and your timer will start now. Can I please see an update on what you were doing, class? Okay, can I please see the work of Jane Balastige? Okay, thank you so much, Miss Jane Balastige. Your artwork looks nice, okay? Yes, Mr. Jomar Carabello, can I see you too? How about your art 
artwork. Very good, Mr. Carabello. You used punched, uh, punctured um, papers. Okay, very good. Colored papers, am I right? Yes, okay. How about you, Miss Jatung? Well, can I please see what are you doing right now? Okay, thank you so much, Jatung. All you are using an, uh, eggshells, okay? Yes, you are doing an eggshell mosaic, okay? How about you, Mr. Giancarlo Pruna? Okay, very good, Giancarlo. Your artwork really looks very nice, okay? So, I will just, I will leave you again for another 10 minutes so you can focus on what you are doing, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Enjoy doing your artwork, everybody. Okay, time is up. Can I please see your work? Everybody, would you please um, uh, show me your work? Show your work into the cameras. Very good, everybody. You, your artwork looks nice. So please take a photo of your artworks and then send it to our Google Classroom later on, okay? After this class, okay? Okay, thank you so much. So for your evaluation or quiz for today, I will just send the link in the comment box and you will just click that link and answer the following questions there. I will give you 15 minutes, another 15 minutes to do that quiz, okay? Okay, I will now send the, I will now send the link in the, in the comment section, okay? Okay, the link was sent. You can now start. Thank you so much. So, I believe that everybody is finished answering my quiz for today. Raise your hand if you don't... Uh, raise your hand if you are finished. Okay, thank you so much. I believe that um, you are all done in my quiz for, for, to, uh, for today because in my record, it seems like you are all... Uh, you are all finished our lesson, our quiz rather. Okay, let me first check what is your highest score in this quiz, okay? Who got the highest score in this quiz? Almost all of you got the highest score. Very good, got a perfect score rather. Okay, let me see or let me uh, state which, uh, which are the which one of you are uh, the highest pointers, okay? Very good. All of the girls are highest pointers. You completely nailed the exams. Very good. For the boys, we have Joe Mar Garabello, Mark Adrian Lopez, Julian Mojedo, Jefferson Manzano, Michael Aris, Rocky Piso, Masamit Sunanri, and Kenneth Zuniga got the perfect score. While um, Mar Lester James Mojica, uh, Mavi Enriquez, Giancarlo Pruna got 8 points apiece. Okay, so that is a very high percentage or high rate for you to be able to understand or, or to answer our quiz for today. So thank you so much for that. And lastly, for your assignment, you just have to advance read your page uh, 305 to 310 on your question uh, on your uh, book on your book this book okay this book okay because that is our next lesson for for uh, next day okay for the next day okay is there any question minding you any question if there are no questions that's all for today goodbye class Okay, goodbye, grade 5 students. Thank you so much for joining this.